Uh, it's too dark here. I can read my book. Yes, we need some light. But we don't have any batteries or electrical sources. Ha! Huh, I know the way to solve the problem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's me, Hidaya. It's me, Alia. It's me, Baptiste. Nahnu, Jada, Azokana, and Ishtihad. We are the Many Vision Inventors. We want to show you how potatoes produce electricity. Can you believe that the potatoes can live about enough for a month? To do this experiment, we need two large potatoes, some pennies, some nail, crocodile clips, and LED light bulb. What are things that we need to do are cut the potatoes into half, make a small slit into each potato, make sure the slits are large enough for the penny to slide in. <coughs> then put the pennies into each slit and also stick the nail into each potato. Now you can see, the LED lights up very weakly, it doesn't light up brightly. To make the LED light up brightly, we need to use the other two hot potatoes. Do the same as the other two potatoes we use now. Now, we can dim the light in our surroundings. Now you can see the LED lights are very brightly. Do you know this lemon can also replace the potato? It is because the lemons have more acid than potatoes. The LED lights up because the chemical reactions that take place between two dissimilar metals and the juices produced by the potato can create a, a small amount of voltage that can power a very small electrical device. So we have proof that batteries can also be replaced, uh, be replaced by the potato. So we don't have to make a hole in our pocket to buy batteries. So you can try it at home. Good luck. Good luck and shukran jazilan. Thank you. Terima kasih.